Hello, you're welcome to my channel. If you have seen for the first time, you are highly welcome. Um, this video I'll be treating grace notes, what we call grace notes. And um, grace notes, it simply means, um, is what I, you can also call it false notes, grace notes or false notes. Grace notes is just like a note you play um, before playing um, an actual note, okay? For instance, um, in the key of C major, for instance, Maybe if I want to play this um, key C, okay? Instead of playing this, I just like play another note before playing this, like a false note, okay? Instead of just hitting C like this, I can just do something like this, okay? Like I hit B before C, like I just run, I just like flip. I run through B before going to C, something like this, okay? So that's what we call grace note. So this B is actually a grace note, okay? Because we played it, like we flipped through it before playing the actual notes, which is C. So for instance, if I want to play F sharp, I can just flip through F before going to F sharp, okay? Something like this. I play this before playing this, okay? Or maybe I play this before going to this, something like this. So that's what we we'll call grace notes. So it's very simple. Grace note is simply a note played before playing um, an actual note okay so it's very simple and you might be asking what is the use grace notes actually <laughs> it can really spice up your place can make you sound advanced for instance in the key of um let's say c in the key of c major okay for instance let's take this progression from the six as a minor to the fourth to the first to the fifth so i'm going to play this progression without adding grace notes and the second part, I'm going to demonstrate it again, adding grace notes so that you can see how you can see the difference and to make you um, for a clear understanding. So going from the six, for instance, like this. From the six, okay. From the six to the fourth to the first to the fifth, okay. That's the fifth chord in C. The sixth chord in C. The fourth chord in key C, the fourth chord to the fifth chord. So you can use. So you can see the progression, instead of just going from my 6th to my 4th, instead of just going from this to this, I did something like this. Like, I flipped through the, like, the 2nd. The you know, this is F major chord. Um, this is F major chord. Okay. Class F, A, and C. So, and remember, this is the, this is the first degree of the scale of, for instance, this F major scale. Okay. And major chords are often made from the fourth, third, and fifth degree of the scale. So this F major chord, and the second degree of the scale, um, we can just do something like a flipping. We can just flip through the second and the third. So instead of just hitting this chord as this, instead of just striking the three notes in the chord, you can just do something like this. You can just flip through the second. Okay, you can hit this before hitting the, hitting the third. Okay. So that is mostly how grace notes are used. You can just like flip, flip through the second and the third. So instead of just hitting F, I can do something like this. Okay, it's so like I hit the second before going to the third. But it must be as fast as possible. So you can just do something like that. Okay, like this. So for instance, if I'm maybe I want to hit um um G major, for instance, instead of just hitting this, I can do something like this. The second. And the third, okay, like a flip. So that's all about grace notes. It's just a note. So instead of just playing, um, instead of striking the third of this G major chord, 
that's um b i just i hit i flipped through um a i flipped through a before going to b okay i did something like okay so to make it sweeter so i'll just okay so i'll just sounding boring maybe this to this to this Playing is the first chord to the fifth chord to the first. Instead of just playing this, 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 I can just have the grace notes like. Okay. So one thing to note about this grace note, actually, you don't use it all the time. Don't have it all the time. Just use it, um, just at a time. You can just be hard doing it like maybe you hit it now, you strike another chord, then you apply the grace note. Don't do it all the time. Because if you do it all the time, it's going to sound it won't sound so um, amazing again to your audience, okay? So in short, in general, that's just one thing about the keyboard, the piano, whatever you're doing, you just just find for the best time to apply it, okay? Maybe when you're going from your first chord to your fifth chord, then to your sixth chord. When you're not landing on your fourth chord, you can apply the grace notes. So you understand? So just make it, just keep it real. Don't make it so common in your song, okay? So that's all about me. I hope you, that's all about the grace notes. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoy, just give it a thumb up, like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. God bless you.